Now, I don't know about you guys, but the last thing I want to do after a long day in the saddle is inflate my mat. So today we'll take a look at an amazingly powerful and compact pump that'll save you time, effort, and maybe even a bit of breath. What's up guys, welcome to my review of the Flextail Zero Pump. But before we get into it, I'd just like to ask if you'd consider subscribing to the channel. We upload bikepacking and bike touring related videos, gear reviews, tips and tricks, as well as an occasional ride or overnighter video. And be sure to check out the main feature of the channel, a 93 part series documenting our 11,000 kilometer bike tour of Australia. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, hit that button. Now I remember when small electric pumps first started hitting the market, and I have to say, I wasn't really into it. It just seemed like another unnecessary gadget to drag along and try to keep charged. And as you guys know, I film my trips. So with cameras and drones and everything else, I do not need any more stuff to try and keep charged. But this little guy has completely changed my mind. And I'm gonna tell you why, but first, Let's take a closer look. The Zero Pump comes in this beautiful packaging and once you open it up, there are some instructions and the pump itself. Also in the box is this adapter and a lanyard. Flextail also sent me this big bag of adapters, which allows the pump to be used with pretty much any mat out there. And it only took me a moment to find the one that's compatible with my Sea to Summit mat. The pump itself is beautifully constructed and super simple to use. Just double tap the button to start it, and tap once again to stop. To access the battery, just unscrew the top, and inside is this very cool battery by Nightcore that features a USB-C port for charging. All right, so let's see how this thing performs. Many of you will be familiar with this Sea to Summit mat of mine. It's a pretty large mat, pretty much as big as they get, so it'll be a good test to see how this little pump copes. Once fired up, the Zero Pump took pretty much bang on one minute to fully inflate the mat. Now, even with the pretty nice pump sack that comes with this mat, you'd have to be working pretty hard to do it quicker than that. And another feature of the Zero Pump is that you can use it to deflate a mat. Getting that last little bit of air out of a mat can be a bit of a pain, so this is a nice little bonus feature. All you need to do is turn the pump around and attach it backwards. There's even a little bit of text on the pump to indicate the orientation. And what's really cool is you can actually use this thing to vacuum pack things. All right, so now that you've seen how this thing works, I'm gonna tell you what I like about it. So it has some really great features. It only weighs 1.2 ounces, which I think's about 30 grams. It's tiny, completely unobtrusive. The deflate function is a great little bonus for helping you get that mat nice and tightly packed. And as a bonus, you can even use this thing to stoke a fire. But the main value that this thing brings to my trips is how much time and effort it saves. Mainly time. When Bonnie and I were touring, at the end of every day, we would make camp and we had sort of a system. Bonnie would go and set up the tent, get the sleeping bags out and inflate the mats. And I would unpack the trangier and cook dinner. And this division of camp duties was super efficient. By the time Bonnie had finished setting up the camp gear, I had dinner just about ready. There was absolutely no wasted time, and because we were able to do two jobs at once, everything got done super quick. But when you're camping alone, you don't have that luxury and you have to do everything yourself. And this little pump really helps with that. Now you're still gonna need to set up your tent and all that kind of stuff, but once you've done that, you can just plug this thing in and leave it for a minute while you do something else. You could even start it while you're setting up the tent. And that's what I really love about this thing. It's just one last job at the end of the day when you'd much rather be sat by the fire or in your tent reading a book. So in terms of drawbacks, I don't really have any. I mean, there's the points I made at the start about having something else to carry and something else to recharge, but I don't really see that as a big deal anymore. I really don't mind carrying something that's this small and weighs this little. And if it runs out of batteries, I can still inflate the mat the old fashioned way. It's not like once this thing runs out of juice, you've just got no way of inflating your bed anymore. And Flextail claim up to 25 inflations from this, so that's up to 25 nights sleep before you even need to think about charging this thing. I am really struggling to see the downside here. 
So to sum up, I am totally converted. I absolutely love this thing. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. So if you've got anything to say about this, put it in the comments below. And if you've got any questions, ask away and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Cheers.